Is Freeland broken? Hi, welcome to Canada Wide. Today we we will listen to a person that's going to be asking in Bill C-54, Freeland, number two in charge, finance, the big shot, number two in charge of the big shot, about what is the GDP? And since Canada is in financial, there's uh, volatility, it's nice to know what that is, and it's bad. And she won't answer. She is upset that Canada, someone said Canada, or Pierre said Canada is broken, but I'm starting to think that she's broken. So I'll leave that video at the end because no one likes to listen to her voice anyways. But, you know, I don't understand. And the answer to the question of what are the GDP is Pierre calling that reporter out and that T attack. And I don't understand what the big deal is with, with the, this whole thing about the reporter asking a, a, not a very good question. Like the wording was not right and it was manipulative. You know, big deal, move on. I don't understand. Everyone's, you know, Pierre confronts her and like she's upset. Like, I don't get it. Like, aren't they all adults? And move on. I don't understand. Is there are feelings hurt? And there, that's it? You ask a dumb, like a dumb question, you get some pushback and all of a sudden everyone's upset. And I don't understand what the big pushback, why, who, ca- not who cares, but you know, the event happened 30 minutes later, CTV reports something saying that, uh, Trudeau's office mentioned something about the T T attack that it might be, and they're going bananas. And I don't know what it is. And it finally occurred to me that it's not like they're trying to get, peer into a gotcha that you said it was a T attack, you know, and you know, censorship, this is why we need uh, censorship. It's not that it has to do with the ideology, because if you say it's a T attack, then you're going to put on that phobia of the ideology. Remember what, the one with the eye? That's the one that then, then, then they can start pushing that again, that he is a racist for saying that that's a T attack because of the ideology that starts with an eye. And I think everyone knows, like, I think that's what it was about. That's why they're pushing so hard that they want to catch him into saying it's a terror attack and the ideology with an eye with a phobia that's scientifically proven that you, uh, that you have a fear of that, uh, ideology. I, that's what I think it's about. And Freeland, she is pushing Ukraine like crazy. And you know, with the average age is 43 and a soldier. Yeah, and what happened to the generation before? Well, they've been wiped out. 120,000 people have died in that Ukraine-Russian war, 300,000 injured. And she's pushing it. And Trudeau's pushing the $10 billion like that we have to fund We have to fund Ukraine. And she has a condo. She has a condo in downtown Kiev. She's actually uh, probably more in love with Ukraine than in Canada. Like she's totally the wrong person to be in that job. She is uh, biased on that country. And nothing against the country at all. It's just that we don't need to fund it. If you have a war, then, I don't know, Canada does need to get involved. We have enough problems, believe me. We all know. Okay, we're going to listen to Freeland and this interchange between these two. And once again, she, uh, you know, she's in a position of power, and she doesn't want to answer it. And then she throws this thing back that they sort of are upset that it failed to catch Pierre in the T word and the ideology uh, related to that and push that narrative. And maybe that's the division that they were going at, that they're a bit upset that didn't happen. So, and even that reporter from the Canada press, I I didn't really catch her name. I couldn't really, um, Paula or something. I don't know what it was, but I I would be, you know, on her uh, personal Twitter and whatever too, I'm sure that she, uh, what's it called? Gaslighting. Yeah. I think that would go anyways. Okay. Let's listen to Freeland go off and the inter-exchange that uh, some people are talking about. Okay, thanks for watching. What was the GDP per capita in the first quarter, the second quarter, or the third quarter? Any quarter. Mr. Lawrence, you and I actually have had very respectful exchanges, and I'm grateful for that. But I have to say, after your leader's performance last week, where he jumped to accusations of terrorism, alarming all Canadians, and after the vote of your party to fail to support Ukraine, order, it is a point bit... Order, chair. What was the GDP per capita in the first quarter, the second quarter, or the third quarter? Any quarter. Mr. Lawrence, 
you and I actually have had very respectful exchanges, and I'm grateful for that. But I have to say, after your leader's performance last week, where he jumped to accusations of terrorism, alarming all Canadians, and after the vote of your party to fail to support Ukraine, order, it is a Point bit... Order, chair. What was the GDP per capita in the first quarter, the second quarter, or the third quarter? 